In this video, you are going to learn how to use Visual Studio Code, which is just a coding editor. It's not an AI coding editor, unlike Cursor. Cursor is an AI code editor. So we all know that Cursor and something like Windsurf, both of these are actually AI coding editors. That means both Cursor and Windsurf has AI coding agent that can actually write code and even develop complete softwares for you without you writing even a single line of code. While in VS Code, there is no such AI coding functionality, but it is absolutely free to use. There is no cost to use it. And by the way, both Cursor and Windsurf are actually forks of Visual Studio Code. So we need a free AI coding agent inside Visual Studio Code so we can use Visual Studio Code just like Cursor and Windsurf. And that AI coding agent that we're going to use with Visual Studio Code is called Klein. Klein is completely open source and absolutely free to use. And it's developed by South Rizwan. So thank you so much, South. Now, Klein is an AI agent that works just as Cursor's AI agent or Cascade in Windsor. But Klein also needs access to AI and to provide it access to AI, we need to use any large language model. So Klein luckily actually allows us to bring our own API key. And in this video, which is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial for you to learn, in this video, I'm actually going to guide you that how you can use any large language model, which is either free or either paid, with Klein, so you can use it absolutely for free, just like Cursor, just like Windsor, but without paying even a single penny. Now, here are a few things. We know that we can use Google Gemini 2.0 for free, but it has a limitation. After certain requests, Google Gemini 2.0 API key will actually not allow you to write code. So we can use something like Grok. Grok Cloud is also free to use, but that too has limitations. I mean, it will not allow you to like write unlimited code and develop unlimited projects with free API key. So there is another solution to use unlimited large language models. So we can actually use something like Olama and LM Studio. So Olama is actually is completely free to use. You can download it locally on your computer and then you can actually use the free large language models. We, you can run them on locally on your computer. You can run something like Quen 2.5. You can run something like Llama 3.370B or like whatever you can run. So you can run it either it on, on Olama or on, or on LM Studio. I've actually created a separate video about setting up Olama and LM Studio locally on your computer and using any large language model. So in this video, we'll try Klein with Visual Studio Code. We'll integrate that with Visual Studio Code and then we'll actually use any of the free large language models and also paid large language models and we'll see how does Klein performs. To be specific, in this video, we're going to use Gemini 2.0 and we are going to use DeepSeek version 3, which is a paid API key, but it is like 10 times cheaper than OpenAI's API key. Gemini 2.0 is of course absolutely free to use and to use DeepSeek version 3, you need to like top up it with some very minor balance, maybe like a couple of dollars or like five dollars. Before you start, please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Our goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers before 30th of June 2025. All right, to start with, you need to download and install Visual Studio Code. Now make sure that you download and install VS Studio Code, not VS Studio version 2022 or 2019. So if you see on my computer, I have both VS Studio 2022 and VS Studio Code installed locally on my computer. There is a difference between VS Studio 2022 and VS Studio Code. You need to download and install Visual Studio Code. To download it, you need to just come to this URL, which is code.vlstudio.com slash download, and you will be on this page in here. You can simply just click on this button and it will just download a file for you. So this file will look something like this. And after that, simply just like, like then just click next, next, next. Once you have downloaded and installed Visual Studio Code locally on your computer, this is how it will look like. You can simply just come to your search bar and look for Visual Studio Code open Visual Studio Code. Now, once you have opened Visual Studio Code, this will look very similar to Cursor, by the way. I mean, on top right, you can see these layout buttons. You can simply just set up your layout and like set up your terminal and everything in here. And then there is an extensions button in here. Simply just click on this extensions button. If you cannot see this extensions button or this bar, is to, to, to preview this extensions button, you need to simply just click on Control, Shift and X, and then you will actually see this extensions button. Now, next step is actually to download this Klein extension right inside your VS code. So to do that, simply just click on here, look for C-L-I-N-E and then click on this and then simply just click on install button and that's it. That's unity. And once it has installed, simply just, it, it will actually appear, this client icon will actually appear right here inside here. So simply just click on that. And now what you need to do, you need to just like click on like this approve, auto approve everything and it will just like approve everything for you. Because actually I already installed that. So you need to, what you need to do if you, if you just want to like, there are a couple of buttons that you need to click before you set up it, but doesn't, don't, don't worry about that. So what you need to do if you have to set up 
a large language model, any sort of large language model, just come to settings inside your client. One, while it has opened, just click on your settings button inside here and then API provider. Under API provider, you need to look for which API key are you going to use. Are you going to use Anthropic? Are you going to use, or are you going to use OpenAI or LM Studio or Olama? In this video, we're going to use DeepSeek and Google Gemini 2 because as we discussed already, we'll use LM Studio or in a separate video because it's actually, there is going to be videos going to be very long if I cover like installation of LM Studio as well so don't worry about that what you need to do simply just click on uh, here and let's just try deep sea KPI key I already have used that so how you can get the deep sea KPI key you can simply just come to your browser look for deep seek deep .com, and then click on simply API access I am already logged in and I have like topped up $20 in there you can top up a couple of dollars and so so yeah I mean I have like developed like three four different projects using deep seek and the number of tokens that are like that it has used is absolutely like I mean the cost is, is it, it's like amazing it won't it won't cost too much if you top up like maybe like five dollars this that will be too much for you to, to like use it for an entire month so don't worry about that later on we like we're actually going to use Gemini 2.0 as well so let's just see results with deep -seek. so before you start up a project what you need to do you need to simply just click on file and then just let's just open a folder so we can set up a new project so let's just make it Klein next js let's just create us a simple empty Next.js project. So simply just click a folder, create a folder inside your computer, then click on select folder, click on this, and now inside client, make sure that you have your layout and everything set up. We can actually just like create an empty Next.js project. So to create an empty Next.js project, if you don't know what is Next.js, there is a separate video about that, but just for now, just understand that we are going to create an empty Next.js project inside VS Code, uh, and then we are going to like develop something in that Next.js project using client. So all right, so just go to next.js slash docs and go to installation tab and just copy this command in here. Just copy this command and then paste that inside your terminal. Inside terminal, just click on that and just paste that and it will just create, just like cursor, it will create an empty next.js project. Keep in mind, remember that VS Studio Code, VS Code is of, sorry, cursor is a fork of VS Code. So the base layout and base functionality, everything is, is just like VS Code. In fact, VS Code is way more stable and reliable than, all right, so I'll just name it as Next.js Client. Just name your project and after that just click on next 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 just uh, whatever default is selected just do that and now it will actually just install your dependencies and after that we'll actually open our project and then start using client and then we'll actually like like try to modify and create some extra some some simple like pages in there and then we'll try to run our project and see how it works but i have used that it works just as good as a cursor ai agent and it's like as good as cursor ai agent or cascade from from windsurf all right once our project is created just open the direct root directory of your project i'll just open that and now we are inside the root directory of our project now we can actually just give client a command let's just give it a command most of people actually ask how i use this speech to text option so this is simply just in the click inside your any text box on your computer then click windows plus h button on windows i know i'm not sure about mac so just click on windows plus h and then click on this button that's it it's not working create a simple task manager app in my next js project i have created an empty next js project already all right let's just okay good thing about client it will actually show api cost while it is working here so it will actually just like show you the api cost tab and you can see like it is working as like similarly as cursor agent works so now right now it has shown cost so for the cost that it has consumed on writing this code is 0 0.0016 dollars which if you like you can like compare it then that how much each so it is now creating these files it is editing the file which was already existing which was like source slash app slash page dot tsx so it has function ability to, di to directly like access files to create files and to and then now it is actually showing us for each api request that we are sending it is showing us so now we can actually run this command npm run dev and it will actually ask you at the end of each task that it completes it will actually show you that okay i have completed this task a task component for displaying individual task main page and then all of that okay fine let's just go to our terminal and let's just run this command npm run dev and see how it has worked so yeah so far it will be like 
if you are a visual studio or vs code user like client is just like an extra layer an ai layer on top of it if you have not used vs code before and if you are like a cursor user and you have like very recently started coding so vs code is like just like i mean there it is it has opened that okay cool perfect so i can just like add a new task delete a new task so yeah just for proof of concept it has just created that let's just give it another task because now it has created this let's just ask it to like enhance landing page please enhance the design make it more attractive and professional all right i just want to see like how long it takes in each request because actually it gives us all of this information which is really good which this is something that uh a cursor doesn't uh, doesn't give us so that previous task cost us around 0.0054 dollars and let's see how much this api request costs so this api request so far has cost 0.00004 dollars which is like like absolutely minimum cost like for one dollars you can develop like a good project i mean maybe like we can have i don't know like thousand requests and it will cost you just one dollar so yeah exactly thousand requests you it will cost you zero or uh, one dollar so i think with thousand requests you can build something like very serious very sophisticated okay so it has now enhanced this design and i can just like add new task and it has now this progress here and i can add and delete task perfect that's awesome i mean i, I like it i mean with, with basic command and prompt that i gave it has created something sophisticated and decent which is great which is which this is what i want let's just try it with chamina and then see how it performs with Gem. so what i'll do i'll simply just go to settings i'll just change it from deep seek to gemini and you can simply just go to google ai studio and open that if you have if you don't have an account already with google a, google a studio just create that a simple account you might have like of course you will have a gmail account so just create a google a account so i'll just name it in i 2.0 all right i'll copy this from here i'll paste it here and i'll just click on done you can always you can of course you know, i mean give a custom request to make it how, how how do you want it to behave so all right so let's just create that now please add a functionality and then i can create tasks inside those projects or right, let's just like keep, give it as as simple prompt as possible and see how it works now initially we are using deep seek now we are using a gemini automata so it is working as good as it should there is no cost api cost it has mentioned there which is good i mean because in deep seek we, we had a cost so yeah i mean you can use either gemini 2.0 or you can just use like a deep seek deep seek is like dirt cheap literally it's just dirt cheap so yeah okay so it has now made some changing so you can see like it is working even better than 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 cursor i mean personally i like this interface and i like the, the, this experience where i am more in control it give it like gives me preview of the previous file and then shows me the updated code so yeah that, that's nice okay let's just open that so now i can add a project name that's not nice okay there's an add project button all right and inside the project i can just like add a task oh, okay fine it has changed the entire design please update the design please make sure the color of text and button is different so we can see what is written on buttons also please enhance the design overall it's very simple and basic right now i want you to make it more professional and presentable part right, let's see how it responds perfect it is going to like make some changes it is now changing making changes in this project.tsx file awesome yeah this i mean i, I like this actually experience i mean it's, it's just like a minor difference between cursor and and, and client but it, it does like make a difference i can see in real time in here right right inside my like in here that what files it is changing so perfect the design is better now all right awesome i like it i'll just add task and perfect all right yep yeah, cool so yeah it's just working perfectly fine i think uh, you can use gemini 2.0 and then further if you want to use any other api keys let's suppose we can use which one is other free i don't, I don't think there, there is any other free api key that you can use yeah so in a separate video we'll just record for lm studio and olama but so far you can use either i highly highly recommend you using deep seek because that way i mean you you will never have interruption while you are developing because with google jam at some point if you're developing something and you're like very serious in about like developing your project and now in between you will be interrupted that okay you have run out of your credits and yeah that's 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 not what you want so i recommend you by like just buying five dollars worth of deep seek api tokens do not try to copy mine because i'll delete that api key after this video all right so i hope you really like this video because in this video my goal was to use visual studio code as just like cursor that have the same experience even better experience and then like without paying any cost so yeah i know i know like deep seek version 3 cost you but again that's minimum cost like that's that's, that's absolutely minimum cost and then if you, if you still don't want to like use a deep seek version 3 then you use google gemini if you don't want to use that then you can just 
simply just like maybe use llama 3.370b by downloading olama or lm studio if you want me to make a separate video about that because the video has already been very long so if you want me to like make a separate video about that i can make a separate video about that where i download and install olama and lm studio if you want and then use any of the like famous ai code famous large language model something like that like Quentu 2.5 is really good llama 3.370b is really good llama's reasoning model is, is is amazing and even microsoft has recently released five models so that's that too is good uh, that's small that's not very like i think it was 12 billion so but yeah that, that too is, is good in writing code so i really think you like this video if you have any further questions just leave a comment in description and i am very active in writing and responding to all of your comments i see you next video please don't subscribe this youtube channel my aim is to reach 100,000 subscribers before 30th of june 2025 i see you next